Yes, a copy. Thinking. And here we go once again with the incredible herds of elephants that we get to see out here. Yes, little one. It's okay. It's okay, cheeky boy. And there must be, sure, about, I would say, at least 50 elephants around us, all spread out in the open area from right across to the northeast of me. Oh, it's so magical. These vast open spaces. Give me one sec, I'm just going to say morning. Morning, everyone. Still looking for my elephant herd. I say my elephant herd, it's definitely not my elephant herd, but the elephant herd with the little one that was just born. I'm so excited to see it again. I'm sure we will. I'm sure they spend quite a lot of time in this sort of around the same area. And that would be something quite special to encounter. And I've memorized all the notches on mum on her ears, so I know I'd recognize her if I saw her. It's very windy this morning. How's this for scenery? is utterly extraordinary. There's such a sense of vast open space that even the elephants look a little tiny. Not quite, but it feels like they seem smaller in this open, open area. I'm actually gonna move forward a little bit, Dave. That little one's being quite cute next to the one with the floppy ear. Let's see if we can get a little closer. So you'll all have to watch as we bump along. Things will be much easier once Paka is up and running because then we can drive and talk to you at the same time. I mean, I can still talk to you. I can wave at you from down below. Yes, little one. It's okay, boys. What's the matter, hmm? Don't be silly now. See, everyone else is relaxed around you. You're just being silly. There's the tiny little one. Oh, goodness. So there's the floppy-eared one, and then if you look a little bit to the left there, Dave, you'll see baby suckling. John, you want to know what the biggest herd is that I've seen? Well, since I've arrived here, I would say, oh, little one, probably about 200 or so would be the biggest herd that I've seen. I can't wait to show you something like that. And apparently, we've spoken about this before, but apparently I'm told that once the wildebeest and the zebra get here, the elephants all disappear. They all go running up into the mountains in the high areas where the wildebeest don't go. And I think just because they don't really feel like listening to the noise and the chaos and dealing with the flies that accompany the herds. I have no idea what she's eating. It's not grass, it's some kind of plant. I have to get to, it's exciting when you get to an area where you don't recognize every single thing immediately. There's a massive purple flower that I've noticed as we've been driving along. I'll, if I see it, I'll stop and show you. But there's a massive purple flower that I have no idea, none of us know what it is, Brent has no idea. We're gonna have to get hold of our friends, the guides at Ngama and get them to tell us what it is, teach us a little bit about it. Onwards on our journey, it sounds like Ali's had some wonderful luck this morning with a massive elephant. Let's see what else she has in store for you.